Hello friends, this is my second Caliber Gun Cricket Modification Adjustment and Tuning video part 2. In the first video I showed you what I modified and adjust to make the rifle to shoot better. This is my opinion and I don't say you have to do this. I'm just sharing what I did. I purchased more magazines from Caliber Gun. Uh, they missed one. So for about two months I have written them many emails and made phone calls until finally they sent me the missing one uh, that I paid. Uh, the magazine holders are not holding well the magazines. They were they was dropping down when you open them and that's why I tightened them with uh, electrical tape and part of rubber band. It's a cheap solution but it's working very well. Polishing uh, detent magazine stock pin and polishing the spring, polishing the shaft magazine pivot. Tightening the regulating uh, bolt. These are the GSB Polymax. I don't like these uh, pellets at all. I prefer the GSB Exact Heavy. Uh, they are better ballistically and accuracy. The Striker Springs. This is the Striker with the ugly oil on it. Uh, I take it out. I polish the Striker and also I put uh, silicon oil and now it's much better polishing the spring hammer uh, also creating this pin uh, for the spring hammer uh, because the spring was twisting uh, under the pressure so this pin is not allowing for the spring to be twisted and I made it uh, from uh, one bolt you can see the pictures Again, cheap solution but very effective. Okay, next one is uh, the pinger. Uh, the pinger is not allowing uh, for this sound of the ping in the cylinder uh, to be so annoying. Uh, the pinger should be very tight inside of the cylinder. So uh, I find a solution from the medicine. Uh, this is a box for uh, medicine pills. And I bought it, I throw the pills out and uh, I use the box. So it's working well. These are the screw counter sunk and the O-ring. Uh, I adjust it a little bit uh, to uh, charge with air a little bit faster from there. Cleaning the channel, uh, polishing the, uh, polishing little bit the beginning of the cylinder because it was cutting the O-rings, adjusting the position of the manometer, uh, creating a filling probe holder and fast connector. Adjusting the spring of the valve. I adjusted the retainer of the firing valve and scaling it, polishing the needle and next is uh, the regulator, polishing piston and springs, uh, spring washers of the regulator, uh, finding the appropriate working pressure for the regulator. Uh, for me it was 95 bar. Uh, this is after I adjust the springs and uh, also the firing, firing valve.
Next is the regulator. This is the pre-chamber spacer and because it's from uh, thick aluminium I drill it just to win uh, more space. It's uh, just a little bit but uh, it's something. You can see the washers uh, how dirty they was. Uh, they was with thick grease and I take it out. Uh, I clean it up and I put uh, very very tiny uh, silicone oil. Uh, I polish everything. Uh, polished once and again and again until I had uh, these results. I take the regulator out uh, some sometime the regulator is really stuck in the cylinder so you need this tool to take it out four millimeter adapter of gauge uh, for measuring the pressure after the regulator uh, this is important to see in what kind of uh, pressure the regulator is working that was second part of this series do not forget to subscribe because new videos are coming.